All right, guys, this is Micah with Blue Roots Media Marketing. And so what I'm going to show you to do today is how to really quick and easy export multiple files, I mean, multiple videos um, in Premiere. It is really easy and simple to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by creating a sequence by pressing Command N. And so what we're going to name that sequence is going to be the name of the sequence um, of the video that you're working on. So say right here I have um, adding motion premiere YouTube. And the reason why I did the YouTube part is because that is the um, video that I'm going to go ahead and do. That's that's the export setting that I'm going to put it in. You can go and mess with all this stuff, but the cool thing about Adobe Premiere Pro, um, really starting in, I want to say CS6, maybe CS5, it automatically changes the settings. So you can click OK, take your video here, and bam, it'll ask you to change the settings, and there you go. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, is I'm going to take my little intro video I have here. I'm going to add it to it. I'm going to butt it up. And I'm going to go over to Effects. And I'm going to add a cross dissolve. It's going to yell at me. And then I'm going to also add an exponential fade. So that way that my audio... You can always go into these effects here and you can change the settings and stuff like that. So like Premiere, I mean with the crossfade, I can change the effects with the crossfade. I can have it start at the end, I mean at the beginning of the next clip, at the end of the intro clip. Um, but I want it to start at center so that it is, I'm going to mute these two files. And then it fades in nicely. And then I'm going to go to the end of my, vi of my video here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop my intro video again. I'm going to go to effects. And I'm going to go and do the same thing. Zoom in. Let's click here. Because it looks like it's not playing nice. Um, go over here. Um, let me make sure that I drop that on there and let me zoom into that clip all the way. Whoop. All right, so here is that video, and it's starting, it needs to start at the center, and I need to pull that out. There's some reason why it's just not wanting to play nice, and so it could slide in a lot easier here so let's go ahead and let's drag this out some and then go ahead and add an exponential fade and then just check it there you go and then there's one video down and you go over here to your project and we're going to be adding text to this video so then we'll click command n adding text premiere youtube Oop, spelt it wrong click enter and then i'm going to add text you can always when you're doing this just make sure i see i started that right so just check your videos also this is a way to be like a final check to make sure you got your ins and your outs and all that going especially if you're doing youtube videos you can like crank out say you spend two or three hours you do i don't know 20 30 minutes you do 30 videos in that time maybe i don't know whatever and then you go ahead and you edit if you want to edit something real fast or whatever i don't know I normally don't edit anything, I just let it roll live. And so, kind of like what I'm doing right now. And so then you just go ahead and you do your crossfade. It's going to yell at me about that. Zoom in. I want to make sure I mute this for you guys. Make sure that I got this going in there right. My exponential fade in. Zoom that out. And then 
add that in there. And just go zoom in here. And it's probably not called zooming, but I like to call this zooming. I have my own names. If y'all been following my channel for a while now, you know that. And then, you know, go to effects, cross dissolve. Wow, he's yelling at me as you can tell. And then exponential fade. And then say I don't want it to go in that far. I just shrink that down a little bit. Same thing with this over here. That's the way that you can change your effects. Is like even here. Make that wider. And then see. Boom. You know, check your audio. All that kind of stuff. Um, you know, play with it. Play with your effects up there. And then, so the cool thing is also while you're doing this, you can also jump back and forth through projects. I mean, through sequences. And so, all right, so we got this done. Now you just want to highlight these and you can press Command M on Mac or Control M on um, Windows and then click Media. So what that's going to do is it's going to export these files to Windows Media Player. Um, I mean, Windows Media, uh, <laughs> Windows Media, I'm talking about Windows, Adobe Media Encoder. And so you can set your settings the way that you want them in here. Okay, and then you click Query. Okay. This will, then you're going to want to make sure that Adobe Media Encoder pops up. Give it a second. Come on. There you go. It's loading. Should I have this loaded before? I'm sorry, guys. Of course, it would hang. And take forever. There we go. And so then your files that you have queried will be loaded or should have been loaded. Here, there you go. And so you can go ahead and you can actually change the path. So like here I have this already set. So like here's all my things, adding motion. YouTube save, adding motion, uh, I mean, adding text, which would be right here, save. And then you can also go ahead and adjust the settings of the export. And then by clicking play, which I'll go ahead and do for you guys, we'll go ahead and export these videos out for you. And you're then able to upload it up on Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you need to upload it to and send it out to people. And go run an errand, go clean your house, do some laundry, something like that. It's just an, it's, you can have it literally a whole sheet full of music, I mean music, <laughs> sheet full of files here and get stuff done in the process. If you want to really quick edit videos and stuff like that. Go ahead and check out the Facebook page. Tweet me at Blue Roots MM. Same information for the Facebook. Blue Roots MM. Check out my website. All this information is down below. Um, tweet me questions. Give me some ideas. I want to really get involved with this. I'm going to set up a blog page and a website. If it's not already done as you're watching this. BlueRootsMM.com and oh, I'm hoping that we can create something together soon. Have a good one.